Again, we get we get 30 charge of spam. Good job. By the way, this is one of my favorite little tunnels to shotgun. If we go back one one more, right here. So lo look at this, right? The enemy Zarya is a selfish Zarya. She just barriers her Rhine for for energy. Now, your team has the advantage in the Rhine Zarya duo. Okay, okay, Reinhardt, they just use their barrier. When it's gone, charge in and I'll bubble you. Anna, get ready to throw your grenade. You shotgun this, right? You shotgun him right into this wall. You get a great Anna grenade. You probably hit at least two people, right? There will be about two people right here you'll hit with a grenade. You kill the Ryan, you snowball this fight. But yeah, so right here, right when you see this barrier, this is a resource the enemy team has wasted and a resource your team still has. You abuse those advantages as a Zarya player with a Reinhardt. I mean, your Ryan, like, there's so many people. Your Ryan just has all the opportunities in the world to just hit at least one person. Oh, that was, that was unfortunate. And honestly, this Ryan, like, how did, how your Anna didn't sleep him? Like, he's doing a long charge with no Zarya bubble. <clears throat> I think your Lucio booped him. Look, you can see the Lucio booped him, right? The Reinhardt was about to hit Lucio. <laughs> The Ryan was about to hit Lucio, and then he booped him to the side, hence the change in, like, the little trail, and he hits Anna. So, there's there's no way you could have uh, hit hit that bubble. Um, it's just, I wanted you, your team to pull the trigger before the enemy team. Again, good. This is a good bubble on the uh, on the runner. He's charging in. Look at how much damage he took in the one second he was not bubbled. Watch this. Look at his health. He's missing about that much. He takes like a hundred damage in a split second, and that's why it's always important to bubble your Reinhardt. <clears throat> he unfortunately doesn't hit anyone, but. Hey, that was not that's not your fault. That you had you had you had good bubbles. You try to tank the charge of the personal barrier. Yeah, that that would that would have been awesome. Unfortunately, I think the Lucio kind of muffed it up when he booped him. Oh, this is unfortunate too. We try to barrier whoever he hit, right? Arzaria does the right thing. Unfortunately, there is an ally in the way. Oh, you guys just took that back with brute force. Your Roadhog is going off. I like this. So, the on my only comment here is probably barrier just a little bit sooner. Uh, I don't know, actually. That was still really good. That You took 130 damage or so and then barriered. This is a good self-shield. The only thing is, uh, Soldier, he ran out of ammo, so he had to he had to reload, uh, and that's why you didn't get as much charge as you could have. Right? So he's shooting, he's shooting, he's shooting, and then we bear, and he either stops shooting or reloads. I think he reloads. <laughs> Wait, where did our barrier go? Okay, this is a good barrier. So this team, look, look at right here, right? These guys aren't talking to each other, but at least this Roadhog at least says something. He's like, boost me, boost Hog, right? And so now your Anna knows to boost Hog. Now your team knows he's probably going to ult, and you know to barrier him. So hey, your Hog is, you know, he takes charge. Is that the combo I would have done? No. Because look at your team. You guys have a soldier. Boosting Soldier is way better than boosting Roadhog. Roadhog should combo with Zarya. 82%, like if he, like one, like one more fight, it would have been, right, you get the Roadhog-Zarya combo off, you win one fight off that, you get the Nano boosted Soldier combo, win another fight off of that. I, I, I mean, well, well, I'm commending the Roadhog for communicating. He is not communicating when I think is the right place. Hmm. <laughs>
Ooh, so close. Nice. Wow, this is really good. Beam, 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 beam. He breaks line of sight. You know where he's going. You get a great grenade. Unfortunately, you're out of ammo, but you again, you reload, you get the beam kill on him. Good stuff. Oh no. Was that a misclick? I'm gonna go with that was a misclick. That's a huge uh oh, that's a huge no no. Oh, you could grab, but watch out for the Genji. Hmm. They used both offense alt. See, now would be the time to sound barrier. Man, your Lucio made a huge mistake. Just get just get out. They've already taken the point. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so. Let's talk about cough stuff real quick. If you guys, if you're going to lose a fight on cough and you own the point, you just fight on the point, you stall it out as long as possible, and you die. Once they take the point, it's over. Unless you have enough teammates there, enough combos there to take it back. Now, we see the Roadhog. <coughs> Our soldier dies. Roadhog is already used as ultimate. We have no sound barrier. We see three and we see three allies over here. Two of them are healers, though. And oh, I mean, this grab it it does accomplish. Like we catch some key members. We catch Zarya. We catch Lucio. But there's no follow up. We've already lost the point. We've already lost the fight. Ooh, how man, that's unfortunate. You had a really good bubble on your Reinhardt. I mean, look at this. The Earth Shatter is going out right as he's getting bubbled and he still gets knocked down. I mean, that's just BS at this at that point. If you had waited just like three more seconds to Earth or um to Graviton until your Reinhardt was back, it would be a completely different story. Who is the Reinhardt? Is that him the man guy? Then that the name I'm seeing? Hanan or something? Yeah, if he was uh, this guy, if he was just a little bit closer, right? He fire strikes this huge group of people. He charges one into this pillar. Um, probably a different story. Wow, that was such BS that he didn't get. Uh, he still got knocked down there. <clears throat> still a good, a good, a good bubble, nonetheless. You have, I mean, you have the right idea. Your Reinhardt, though, he's still making the mistake of walking up to the enemy Reinhardt by well dropping his shield while the enemy Reinhardt has Earth Shatter. Like, I don't play Reinhardt, but I feel like that's a mistake. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I saw in your eyes that you that you wanted uh, uh, the shield under your Reinhardt. You're like, I see you. I want the shield. But unfortunately, you know, your Anna gets in the way. There's so many things that went wrong in this uh, round so far that just aren't your fault. And I say so many things, I just mean um, that really it was your Lucio sound burying for like absolutely no reason. Where was our personal shield here? Oh, we were in a graviton. Always good to shield ourselves in case you know someone shoots at us. So that's shields fine. Zarya is fighting us, Zarya is fighting us. We're not shooting back at her because she has shield, which is fine. Man, you guys brute forced your way back into the point. Uh, again, I mean, amazing. I, how is this happening? Okay, so let's let's think about it. The enemy team used both offense alts, Earth Shatter and Graviton, so and Nano. So they were actually pretty drained. So, hey, I mean, kudos. All right, the poke phase is now ended, right? Look at the two teams here and here. Poke phase over. And again, just more and more, we're watching the discipline of our Zarya um, to, not, to not shield there. Roadhog, this Roadhog, again, he's, he's wasting and, like, he calls for boost. He stops the type, but our Anna's, like, has different plans and boosts Reinhardt anyway. Um... Wow, that was a good Earth Shatter. How many people did he get with that? Wow, I think your I think your allied Reinhardt saw the enemy Reinhardt shield broke. Good kill on the Anna there. 
you're using you're using grenades to your advantage here, right? She's small, she's little, you you're trying to kill her, you're like no idea where she is, but a grenade finishes her off. Beautiful. Man, the enemy Genji just goes off right here. You guys killed three people. And Genji kills three people. He killed four people! Wow. This game is an unfortunate defeat. But as Zarya, I mean, I think you played really well. You, the discipline with your barriers is definitely there. I, you, we talked about it. There was a couple questionable barriers. Um, you only got, you only really got punished for one of them. Uh, your, your last graviton, as we talked about, uh, was unfortunate, but it happens to everybody. You know, you, you were just a little bit early. And your Reinhardt wasn't there on time. Um, try to utilize your Reinhardt more, especially versus a, an enemy Reinhardt Zarya duo that is not respecting the uh, threat of a charge, right? So, like we saw on that last control center point, the enemy Zarya bubbled her Reinhardt extremely early. She's playing very selfish. She wants charge. That's a huge green flag to your Reinhardt Zarya duo to punish that with a charge, with a bubble, with a grenade. Um, those sorts of things, those sorts of communication, those sorts of little, I'm going to call them tactics, like the shotgun, can take enemy, take small enemy mistakes and punish them heavily, right? The enemy Zarya, she bubbles her Ryan, she's not really thinking, how is this going to affect my team? She's like, I just want charge. But if you, if you take that Zarya, you, you take those barriers she's wasting and you punish her for it, that gives your team an advantage. Now, I th I think you guys lost the first fight, right, because the Reinhardt charged your Anna and it kind of just snowballed from there. But it's it's those small, small things are what win or lose you a game. Like like on the um, the second garden round, you know, we saw the, the barrier on our Reinhardt early when he was on the bridge and then he didn't charge, which again, that's not your fault. You can't control what the your allied Reinhardt does. You can only do your best to convince him to charge. Um, but he did not charge. Then your whole team comes over the bridge and the enemy Reinhardt charges them off the bridge. I mean, as Zarya, there's not much more you can do there. So in this loss, this unfortunate loss, you were not a bad Zarya. You, make, you made mistakes, and we all do, and we talked about them. But the main thing is you... It's a team game, and at some point, you know, we need our team to play well. Your Reinhardt let his team get earth shattered, uh, 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 not earth shattered per se, but he would put down his shield, and his team would get punished for it quite a few times. You know, we saw the Anna grenade in on the garden phase. We saw the um, he charged into a Reinhardt that has earth shatter. I mean, that one we could have had your bubble, but again, you know. He was in third person. He saw that you used bubble on him, and he still decided to charge. That's a mistake from him. Um, your Roadhog calling for nano boost not not great either. It's just some poor alt management in this in the second and third rounds. Or, I'm sorry, um, the fourth and fifth rounds. Um, the and then at the same time, the enemy team just popped off like crazy. You know, they had like like I said, they they capitalized on your team's mistakes. Your Reinhardt puts a shield down, enemy team earth shatters. Reinhardt puts a shield down, enemy team gets a great anagrin off. Your your own Lucio blue sound barrier for nothing. I'm gonna assume it was a, a you know he fat fingered it, and your team was punished for it. The enemy team came in, they used you know both off offense alts wiped you guys like like. Honestly, like this was like just looking at you, like this was a great game from you. So like, don't feel bad that this was a loss. Just know that you did well. You had great discipline with your barriers for the vast majority of the game. You had great discipline with your reloads for the vast majority of the game. Um, you had mostly good grabs, right? You know, we talked about just add a little bit more, just sprinkle a little bit more communication in there, so we can um, get more value out of our Gravitons. Um, we had a, a couple small positioning things. We were separating ourselves from our allied team that we can clean up. There's no like giant glaring issues here, except I'm gonna say communication. Definitely, my biggest recommendation to you is try and communicate more uh, with your team. I think that's gonna be just adding some communication there. You'll probably, you'll see a better improvement in your games.
but for the most part, you know, do not be discouraged. I think you're you did very very well. Um, oh, the other small thing is use your just if you feel com if you feel like you're comfortable with it, use those grenades a little bit more on jumping enemies, especially if you're high charge. It does it does 95 damage at 100 charge. They're really punishing. Um, so definitely uh, check those out. We've got Pantsman21 donated $5. Dude, that's the guy in the review. Thank you so much for the donation. Much appreciated. So that's going to be it for this review, guys. I really hope this was helpful. Sorry it was so long. Um, if you like this review, you know, follow me on Twitch. I do do these live three times a week, Mondays, when Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern. If you want to see the review um, after I do it live, it will end up on YouTube eventually. Feel free to subscribe there. And if you want updates on when I am streaming, doing VOD reviews, or anything like that, uh, follow my Twitter. I, I keep it professional. I just put out Overwatch-related stuff for the most part. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful, and uh, everyone have a good day. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button on the right hand side. And if you want to see more videos, check out these two on the left. Again, thank you so much for watching and have a good one.